Welcome to NGS, where we dive into my hobbies, such as playing cards. Today, I have a Daniel Madison deck. Daniel Madison Rounders. I have a Gaff deck for the Rounders and the, and the Dealers also, but I don't have a Dealer deck. But in order for me to put that into the Gaff Hunt videos, which are still a thing, I know I haven't posted one in a minute, but I'm having issues with the Artifice video. Uh, it'll come out, I promise. I didn't forget about it. But in order for me to do a video on the ra Rounders and Dealers Gaff deck, I have to do a Rounders or Dealers video, so you have a reference video for the vanilla deck. And that is what this is. Now, just because I have to do this video does not mean I don't like these cards. I'm a big fan of Madison playing cards. I love the elegant, like, Edgar Allan Poe style of art that he puts into his decks. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and dive into this. These are the Madison Rounders playing cards. On the front, you will see a gigantic spade with Madison Rounders written in the middle. It'll say underneath quality playing cards by Daniel Madison and Illusionist. Yeah, it is an Illusionist deck, but Daniel Madison is the one who made it. Now, one of the things that I really enjoy about this deck and a lot of his decks is the tuck case is made with the same material and air cushion as a playing card. And I don't know what it is about that, but I really love the way it feels. It's like it's like holding and filling a deck of cards without taking it out the tuck case. I really like it, and the texture that it gives is pretty awesome. But that is the background. It's kind of a semi-gloss, semi-matte because of the air cushion finish. On the side here, we have nothing. On this side, we also have nothing. On the top, we have Madison Rounders with that logo you see here, the M. And then on the bottom, we have a barcode and the Illusionist tag. Look at that seal. Yeah, doesn't it look kind of familiar? It looks like a bicycle seal, except it says Madison Rounders on it. And you love to see a seal. On the back here, we have what the back of the cards are going to look like. And I mean, look at that air cushion on the black. It looks amazing. I love this look, this style, this aesthetic. It's great. So let's dive into these bad boys. Under the tabs, we have here JL and PM, which I'm not really sure what those stand for. And I apologize for that. If you know what these are, let me know down in the comments, please. Educate me. And then on the inside, it's just white for the material of the tuck case. And here we go. These look like a basic deck of playing cards. The kind you would see like in a poker game at the Vegas Casino. And that's kind of the point of this deck is to be a deck of cards that look like a normal poker deck of cards. We have here the Madison M, which has this like vine work that wraps around it, which has a heart in it and a diamond in it. And I, I wanna say a club, but I don't see a club. Oh yeah, I do. The whole thing is a club, but it's like a four leaf clover with the M in the middle. Very nice, it's a diamond put onto the back on the top and bottom, so it is a symmetrical deck. The quality is amazing, even though my fan was not. These cards feel great in hand, but backs aside, it's pretty simple, pretty straight to the point. Let's get to the fronts. We have here an Illusionist promo card, and we have here the Joker. Madison is really big with ravens. A raven is kind of like, I guess, his spirit animal. So we have here a raven holding a razor blade. Or not holding, but sitting on. I guess you could say holding. Standing on a razor blade. Now, it's it's hard to tell even in person, but there is something written on the razor blade. I cannot read it. It's too small. For the ace of spades, as you'd expect, it is the same spade you see on the front of the tuck case. Exactly the same, even down to where the wards are. Except on these ones, we have caveat emptor. If you know what that means, please put it down in the comments below. I will pin it. The United States Playing Card Company, which is why a lot of the font here and pips and indices are the same as you would see in a bicycle deck of cards. I do think the pips are a little bigger than the bicycle default ones, but they're very easy to read, which is a great thing for performing magic. And Daniel Madison, if you didn't know, he puts a lot of his friends and cohorts in the magic industry into the cards as the court cards, which you will see as we go through. The faces are of real people. I don't know who they are in particular, but I do know they are real people. Except the Jack of Diamonds. There's Daniel Madison himself. 
Normally he has like a, I think it's a nine of club reveal card on his diamonds, but not on this one. And a double backer. But these cards are absolutely magnificent in hand. I do love these. This actually is not my first deck. I had a deck and I used it and put it through hell and back. And then I lost it. As the story goes. So I had to get a new one. And I got a new one and I haven't used it since because I have a lot of decks. Now let's go ahead and see if they glow in a black light. Nope, unfortunately, they do not. Uh, what about the tuck case? It has a very light glow, and you can see like right here where the, uh, I guess the air cushion's coming off, it is glowing. But that seal, oh man, that seal's glowing like its life depends on it. That's pretty cool. But other than that, nothing else glows. Anyway, that is the Madison Rounders playing cards by Illusionist and Daniel Madison. These cards are no longer available, I do not think, so you'll have to find them through secondary market means. If they are available, I will have it down in the description, so don't be scared to check. But there is a gaff deck that will coincide with this down in the future. So like and subscribe and follow for that. And I cannot wait to see you right or back in the next video. You're dealing with the ghost We are spitting facts so don't mistake it with the boast Looking for a lethal injection we got the dose We are giving the chills from your head down to your toes You're trying to touch us but you're dealing with the ghost